we're keeping the focus on thyroid nodules that are confidently benign and they're getting big enough to bother somebody. Usually it's a pressure sensation, maybe interfering with swallowing or maybe even breathing if it presses on the windpipe. And also it could be disturbing if it's perceived by others as to what's that in your neck, you know, right. and you want them to focus on you when you communicate, but they're looking at your neck. And so there are many reasons our patients come in and seek help for a nodule in the thyroid. And even when it is benign and we tell them, hey, look, we've done a few biopsies. Usually patients have many biopsies. You really only need two biopsies. And if it proves to be benign on finding the aspiration biopsy, we could feel really confident that it's a benign process plus looking with ultrasound. But even though we tell them it's benign, don't worry about it, they're bothered by it. And so they want something done to mitigate that or eliminate what they're experiencing. And I think it's very important for us to listen to our patients and understand that just because it's benign, we shouldn't be dismissive. And each and every patient is different. And in, as you know, before we had a blade of options, it was certain surgery or do nothing and live with it. Mm -hmm. And those were pretty, you know, those were extremes. So a patient had to think long and hard as to like, does this really bother me enough to do surgery? But ablation has been the nice, happy medium where people are saying, why should I have to live with this and deal with this? And it's problematic enough that I'd like to try something and ablation seems reasonable. So that's where we are 